Man, so we got three days left um, till we're trying to leave. We'll see if we'll make it on time. There's a bunch of issues uh, trying to get the truck get get together, inspected, finishing this guy, finishing client projects, uh, tying up all loose ends. But we are, you know, we're working it. We're making a lot of progress. Um, as you can see, it's nighttime and I'm doing the wiring work. This is the outside. I just finished up all the, uh, whoa, it's bright, 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 bright. I just finished up all the rough wire runs. Let me give you a tour. So <clears throat> we're here in the bedroom here. So this is the this is going to be a bedroom power outlet, AC outlet, and a DC USB outlet. Um, so we can charge our phones or be on a laptop or something like that. Um, and then over here, in this corner of the bed area, this is our uh, the switches, which we'll be able to turn on a a light that's going to be there for the bed, bedroom area. Also a switch to turn on the light that's sort of like by the door uh, and a switch to turn on and off the house lights, I guess. Um, on the wiring, so I guess the best place to look at is with some light here. Why don't we look over this section here. Um, all the wire is stranded, like machine grade wire. For stuff that vibrates, it's better to use stranded wire and uh, lug connectors. This is kind of halfway between a boat and a real house, so I'm not uh, I'm not using wire nuts or solid copper wire because that will possibly vibrate uh, loose over time. Well, I'm using like fixed connections here, but you know, as you can see here, this blue box it's mostly just like a blue normal electrical box. You know, I guess when you build a house that sits in the back of a truck, uh, code kind of goes out the window. Um, you know, this is plenty safe. I, uh, I'm using just basic, kind of basic color scheme of blue as a DC ground, yellow as a 12 volt DC supply. Red is either used in three-way switches, um, and then in some other instances I use, like, the color codes of the device. Um, Oh, so let's move on. So this, this plug that we've been looking at is, uh, that's going to be another DC outlet and a auxiliary switch, which eventually would power something like a water pump or uh, some other device in here. Um, we got another uh, light mount. Now these are going to, I'll shoot a video when I'm done wiring all this stuff. These are going to be little LED lights uh, and there's a, a 3D printed um, piece that goes on here that uh, makes it look kind of nice. Right now I have this really bright fluorescent light because I'm working in here. Um, and there's one on the other side. Both of these are on the three-way switch so you can come in. Uh, that's what's gonna be there. You walk in the door, you flip the switch, you can turn the main lights on, you can turn that, the, root, the outside light on and off and there'll be another AC outlet in this um, area. Um, so all the wires, oh, and one, one, forgot one thing here. This, oh, this is terrible video. Uh, this is a switch for a belly light, which you can barely see. You can't see it in here. There's just going to be another LED light because this will be storage, service area, water tank in the future. Um, that'll be a light to, so you can see what you're doing. Um, all of these wires are zip tied nicely, as is my, my thing. All to this area here, and this is going to be a patch distribution panel. Um, there's a lot of different inputs and outputs on the outside. You can see out here, we got uh, this will be a outside AC outlet, RV hookup, uh, trailer hookup. I put some uh, turn signal stop lights, just add more lights to the back of the truck. So you know because. This sticks out farther than the uh, truck lights themselves. Uh, there's also a DC outlet there. And all those, 
All those run in here, underneath, zip tied into this main area. So in this area, I'm going to have a DC fuse box, uh, an AC distribution breaker. Possibly this will be I'll stick a power inverter. Um, what else? Um, a transfer switch for the shore power, camping power, whatever. Um, and maybe a power converter for powering the DC lights off of AC when we're in like a trailer park or something. Eventually I'd like to have solar or some sort of battery backup system, but we might just have to pick up a cheap generator. Whew. So uh, yeah, we're making a lot of progress. Trying to hit the road as soon as possible. It's uh, you know three days since we still we have to leave to do a reasonable trip to Burning Man, which is the, kind of the first dated event, and then we're gonna hit the rest of the country.